Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Fortune. I'm a certified professional makeup artist. I like to talk about makeup, skincare. I am going to Italy with Michael very soon, like less than two weeks, and we are on the hunt. This is the countdown to what products will make it on this trip with me. If I was Charlotte, like I would really wanna to come to Italy. Like so much to see, so much to do. Nudegasm face palette, two contour shades, a lighter one, a darker one, or a softer one and a deeper one. And we also have two highlight shades. They are kind of a hybrid between a cream and a powder. This is not a sponsored video in case you were wondering. I am not being paid to talk this product up. It was just sent to me. I wanna try it and you guys know me. I love multifunctioning products, especially when traveling. I feel like you just throw this in your makeup bag. It covers multiple steps in your makeup routine. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell. This way you get a notification every time a new upload is live here on my channel. And with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. This has like two faces on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a darker face and a lighter face. It doesn't like shift. There's just two, I don't know. You yeah, know, it doesn't shift. There's just two images laid down on top of one another. It's pretty cool. It's a really nice package, rose gold, which I don't mind when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury products. However, in real life, I do not, I don't like rose gold. I'm not a rose gold gal, but I feel like it's super feminine and it's classy and Charlotte Tilbury does it right. So again, this is what it looks like. You open it up, you get a really nice mirror. I was actually doing my makeup in this mirror and it's pretty clear. $75. Did I tell you guys how much it retails for? So I was really really happy when I got this bad boy in the mail because let me tell you something truth be told I would never like I don't want to say never but I would never spend $75 on this but simply because I don't need to I have so much makeup that I don't need these things so I could not justify spending the coin on this I feel like I owe Charlotte an apology to some extent. I just I felt like her makeup was so hyped up. Are you guys like this? I'm definitely like this sometimes like people talk about a brand or something whatever it is It could be a food just anything talk about it so much and are so obsessed with it that I'm kind of just like Is it that good though? Like I'm a little I'm just like a skeptical person I'm pretty sure the first thing I ever tried from her was her pillow talk lipstick, which is actually what I'm wearing today I was kind of just like, it's good, it's not great, it's whatever. I gotta be honest, after using it and using it and using it, I really love this lipstick. The color is really beautiful, it looks really awesome on people of various skin tones. This is just a really universal brand. I feel like it's accommodating to a lot of skin tones, which we love. Her iconic nude, I bought the lip liner, everyone raved about it, and I was kind of just like, Eh, it's whatever. I'm wearing it today. I have really been gravitating towards her lipsticks and her lip liners lately. I just find them to be easy. They pair well together because they all have like the same tones. I'm going to tell you the names of them, but I find it really hard to like flip it. It's hard to know what is what. So let's figure it out together. I am going to say that this is definitely super sculpt. So then above it must be super glow, which is a highlighter, soft sculpt. And then over here it is multi glow. When you look at the back of this, it's like opposite of one another. It's very confusing. And Charlotte even tried to put arrows for you to follow, but it didn't make it any easier. One more time, super sculpt, super glow, soft sculpt multi-glow. I powdered so that this powder has a better chance of laying down a little bit nicer so it doesn't pick up on any dampness. I also did my brows using my Gucci brow pencil and I used a clear brow gel to just help keep the brow hairs up. Everything that is on my face, whether I use it in today's video or not, would be listed down below. I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I feel very chatty today. Um, when I read that it was Nudegasm, I was kind of like, Charlotte, love you, darling. But Nudegasm automatically makes me think of NARS. NARS is my favorite makeup brand, so I kind of felt like a little something about that. Let me know if you heard about this palette or hearing about it now. Does that make you think that this is a NARS product? Small mint pear round soft blend brush it's kind of just like a big tapered brush for your face and i'm going to pick up the soft one first there's no kickback as i'm doing this uh, maybe just like a little but it's definitely a packed kind of powder 
So that makes me believe that it is like really creamy. And I'm just gonna start off soft and like build it up. And I feel like with this, it might have like a film over it because it is like, if you ever use an eyeshadow palette first time and there's like no pigmentation and then as you get into the eyeshadow, it starts showing up. Um, the more that you use it, there might be like a film over this. So I definitely want to work through that. But I'm keeping this to the back of my face because contour is just creating a shadow where you would want a shadow to be. So I'm going to do one half of my face and then we will assess before moving on. So I'm kind of just looking in the mirror in front of me to see where I would naturally want a shadow. So I'm hugging this underneath my cheekbone just like that to make it a little bit more prominent to create a shadow right there, but I want it to be soft. And I actually looked at this and thought to myself, I don't think any of these are contour shades for me, but you know, maybe I was wrong. And then I'm gonna start to just sculpt the chin out, the jawline. Well, this is the jawline, we'll get to the chin. Taking this, and I'm kind of like applying it on the tip, but also like the side so that I can just sweep it along. Just like that. That gives a really nice, I don't know if you can see that, it gives a really nice shadow. I'm just going over where I want to erase. You know, you put a shadow there so you make it look a little slimmer. So I'm adding a little shadow here, just because if you look at this side of my face, you can see this is like, I don't wanna say hanging, but it's just a little droopier right here. So by putting a shadow over it, can you see how like tighter and smaller this side of my face is? It's just the beauty of contouring. I'm gonna put a little bit on the sides of my nose too. And again, I'm just gonna do the one side. In real life, it's like so subtle. I'm kind of like doing a double take. Like what, it's so subtle. Can you see the difference between this half of my face and this half? Let's look here. So there's nothing there, obviously. And then I just feel like you really see it a lot more on the camera. And I'm gonna take a little bit on that brush again and I'm just gonna run it through my eye socket just to give a little bit of a snatched look but also to start bringing the eyes into it because I am gonna use this as an eyeshadow. So this is the side with it, the soft sculpt, and without it. It is definitely very soft. It looks great on camera in real life, it gives like the most subtle, natural kind of shadow. It looks really beautiful. If you just had like a kiss more pigmentation, I think that you would really be able to blend it and make it look natural without having to dip in as many times as I did. Hopping into love, I'm gonna take that on this brush just because I'm curious to see how it will apply with different kind of bristles. Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH05. This is definitely a rougher brush than the one that we used before. So I feel like it might really penetrate the top layer. I coated the brush. I'm just gonna like go like that. And I'm gonna look in the mirror in front of me and I'm gonna hug this to the back of my face and I'm gonna press it into the skin. Now that looks really pigmented on the camera, this brush might be either packing more pigmentation on, like a little bit more color, or it just might be the shade itself, but holy sculpt. But it looks really natural in real life. But look, that is like sculpture, sculpture-esque. Oh my God, it's so good. And I'm just gonna go over the sections that I just did with this shade and this different brush. And I'm not kicking off any of the excess anymore. I'm kind of just dipping it in and then going right in. Yes, oh my God, okay. I love this shade, which is shocking because when you look at this, I'm like, oh, that's way too dark for me. I'm gonna go in with this brush now. I'm gonna pick it up on the edge I'm gonna just try and contour the nose with this color too. Just to add a little bit of definition and I'm gonna pull it through the eye one more time. And I'm not trying to make this perfect. This is not like a perfect nose contour day, but I just wanna bring the nose back in to the face. Okay, that's nice. Put a little bit more up here with this brush. 
yeah, this color, I think this shade just disperses a little bit more because it's even dispersing a little bit more with this brush. But if you are deciphering between which brush to use with this palette, rougher brush like this one. Learning from the brush experience that something a little rougher pairs better with this palette. I'm going to take a rougher blush brush than I typically would take. This is a Morphe M523 synthetic kind of brush, but it's a little scratchy. Like it's not scratchy, but it's not really soft. I hope that makes sense. I should really learn more about brushes, but here we are. So I'm gonna take Gasm and I'm gonna just dot it on the back of my hand just to see like how much pigmentation this is gonna leave. If you're never like sure about what something might look like, dab it on the back of your hand. And I'm patting this over top of where I put all of that contour. And I'm pressing it into the skin that's really pretty. And I like to bring my blush a little higher where my highlight's gonna go just to like lift my face. And that's pretty. I do really love a cream blush. That's kind of just like been my jam. Tower 28 ones, oh my God. But this has flecks of like highlight in it, which I don't love. I love when my blush is juicy in like a creamy way, not like a highlight way. A little bit of blush on my nose, just cause I feel like it'll tie it all in together. I'm just gonna do like that W across the nose just to give it like a sun kiss look. Usual Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And then while that's still damp, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Super Glow, which says nude on it in the palette. And I'm just gonna pat that onto my skin. And this is really, really pretty. It's definitely blinding. And I'm definitely gonna lower the lights so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm gonna put some up here. It's like pretty blinding on the monitor. But in real life, it is super natural. Like the whole thing just looks really natural. Whereas I find like on the screen, it just has more of like a zhuzh to it. Like I really feel like the camera is picking it up. Let's pop to the eyeballs now. Grab the softer shade on my brush. Press that into the crease and do windshield wiper motions just to go ahead and blend it out. Hopefully giving us some dimension and just like a soft shadow on the lid. Then I'm gonna hop into the deeper contour shade using that same brush and I'm gonna keep this a little closer to the lid and I'm kind of just gonna deepen out that outer third. I'm gonna actually hop back into the softer sculpting shade and I'm gonna run that underneath the eye. And I've been using the same brush the entire time. Gasm on my index finger. Apply that to the lid. Oh wow. That's really pretty. Back into the deep sculpting shade just to reinforce that outer third. I'm then going to take a larger, same kind of dome brush and I'm just going to blend that out. golden highlight on a smaller pencil brush. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye as well as underneath the brow bone, just to give a pop of light there. I'm gonna apply some of it with my finger on the brow bone just because it goes on so much more pigmented with the finger. So I'm just gonna pop that underneath the brow with a different finger, not the same finger as the pink one. I'm gonna spray my highlight brush. I'm gonna pick up the highlight and let's see. Yeah, that just, I don't know if you can tell, but it just like melted, it melted it into the skin. When pressed in with a damp brush, it just looks a little bit better. It doesn't look as like cakey on my skin. Not that it looked cakey, but it just, it was definitely bringing attention to my pores, which highlight will definitely do. So a softer formula will pack into your skin a little bit better, but also applying it with this will do the same thing. 
spray one more time for good luck because I really love this stuff. Okay, so to keep it real, this is my second outro for this video because the first one was accurate in how I felt at the moment, but then I sat down, I watched some playback from this video, viewed myself as you are currently viewing me, and there's just like really not enough pigmentation to this palette. So if you're like getting married and you're thinking about using this on your wedding day, if you need that extra sculpt, you would have to like pair this with a cream. So if you're doing contour, I would use like the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand first, pat it out with a brush or a damp sponge, and then set it with this. Kind of think of this as a finisher. I mean, the highlight is beautiful. Like that's, it's gorgeous in real life and on camera. If you are a Charlotte Tilbury like Stan and you love her, or you're someone that just likes to collect her beautiful makeup, or maybe you just have the extra cash to buy it. I mean, you're gonna like it. I don't think I'm gonna be taking this on our trip. If I change my mind, I will let you guys know, but that is where I'm at right now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Let me know, are you in inclined to go buy this separately though let me know would you spend $75 on a face palette because I don't think I would make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave I had a great time thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.